Good morning from the wintry wonderland that is Northern Ontario. It's snowing. I did not approve of this. I don't know who did. I'm not happy about it. But that's okay because we're trucking and that makes everything better. I do a little too much, don't I? That's okay. So we're just around the corner. This here is Highway 71. It goes south down towards Fort Francis and Rainy River. That up there is an intersection. That is Highway 17. We are at the corner of Highway 17 and 71. Getting our day going here. We're gonna go put some freight on this trailer. We're gonna put a tarp on it and we're gonna go back down to Brainerd. We've been doing the same thing back and forth all week. Yes, like I said yesterday, it does get boring, but that's okay because on payday, it's never boring. We try to make it different every day for you. So let's get going. We got freight to pick up. We're gonna deliver the freight tomorrow morning. So we just gotta get the freight now, make our way down. It's about six, six and a half hours down to Brainerd. Park there, first thing in the morning, first thing. We gotta get this thing unloaded, get this trailer empty. And then I believe the plan is to get me wiggling my way, snaking my way towards home from there. We'll see what happens. It's trucking, anything could happen, you never know. All right, everybody, let's do it. I've already got my Sunday clothes on, partially. There's always a dress code where we're going to pick this up. They're very picky. One second, I got some uh, got some snowflakes on you. Sorry about that. How dare I, right? You guys don't want snow. I don't want snow, but I will be in the snow for you so that you don't have to. I'm just that kind of guy. My brain bucket on. I don't need it on right now. I don't know why I'm putting it on now. Let's go around the corner. Let's go get this stuff. Let's get it on the trailer. Lights on for safety. Seat belt on so I don't fall out. Wait, no, I need a snack. I haven't eaten anything yet. One second, very important. I need a snack. Aha! Breakfast of champions. Hashtag not an ad. I just like these things. Oh, it's gonna be good. Let me eat that on the way. Okay. get to the shipper. I understand it needs to happen. We have to have a white Christmas. But can we please get the snow on the weekends? That would be great. Thanks. Let's take a look here. Get ourselves back up here. All right, here we go. 100 meters, turn left on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 17. What a day. What a day. Good thing we don't have too far to go today because if this snow keeps up, it's gonna be a little slow moving. That's all right. We're trucks, we're supposed to be slow moving, right? Continue on this road for 12 kilometers. Far, the temperature outside is just above freezing at one degree Celsius, probably with 34 Fahrenheit. So the roads are doing just fine. They're not slippery. They're just wet. But as the sun goes down later today, that'll change. The temperatures will drop and the roads will turn to ice. So we're going to have to be careful. Nothing we haven't been through before though, right?
before I leave here, once I'm loaded, I'll definitely be checking the forecast and road conditions. No, before you go, always know what you're getting yourself into. And have a plan, you know, if, if it looks like it might get bad, you might want to, you know, see how far you can get. Make sure you know uh, you have places lined up that you can stop just in case. we'll be worrying about that tonight I mean it's uh, uh we'll see how much snow we get we'll say that we shall see the weather can be unpredictable though the roads can be pretty predictable if you know what the weather is then you you can pretty much predict what the road conditions will be well, at least we got that right all we gotta do is figure out what the weather is I need to get my winter front on my truck. I have to remember that this next weekend. I was going to put it on last weekend already, I forgot. It's not quite needed yet, but I, I at least want it in the truck with me. Well, that escalated quickly. up it's gonna be quite the interesting day today I haven't even gotten to the shipper yet I hope they're still loading trucks in this so far up until now I've been lucky enough to kind of avoid the beginning of winter I guess it's gotta hit us all at some point. Approaching destination in one kilometer. Exactly the same load as yesterday. Exactly the same thing. I put a strap over here because there's a stack of four here and there's a stack of three here, right? So I don't want my ta tarps flapping around here because that'll put strain on those corners right there. I don't want those to rip, so I want it to stay tight. I put this strap over there to keep that tight. Put this strap over here to keep this tarp from sliding forward. And the rest is all bungeed down, ready to rock and roll. Another Christmas present for Santa. Another Christmas present for Santa. And thankfully the skies have cleared up. No more snow. So it's kind of good that we took a little longer here than usual. Usually it takes about two hours to get in and out of here. Today it took three hours. But that's fine because in that three hours all the snow cleared and melted off the road and the skies cleared. So <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna put my brain bucket away. It's uh don't need to hold it in anymore. Not a lot of room in my truck. I know that, and I'm okay with that. I picked this truck. This is my truck. This is the truck I've always wanted. I don't have to have a lot of space. I just have to like it. Turbo whistling 
echoing off the buildings and gracefully hitting my ears. It's just choruses of angels. Oh, yes. The harmonies of the engine and the turbo and the tires, it's just, it's an orchestra from heaven. It's beautiful. It's International Falls, Minnesota. Just got into the great United States. Once again, a guest in our neighbor's house. I promise to be a very good boy. I just want to bring you some of your lumber that you ordered and then go home. So glad that all that's only. Look at this, there's no snow here at all. This is only like, what, 100 miles or so south of Kenora where all that snow was this morning? There's nothing here. Amazing. That's been a good day so far. The sun goes down pretty early, so into the night we go. It's only like 7 o'clock. We're back in Crosby. Once again, pretty quiet here right now. Rolling through here at about 10.30. Waiting for the morning, when the gate will open and greet us. I'm first in line. That's actually a lie. There's a guy over there. Can you see him? It was a good night of driving. Oh, and for this here? I've been talking about this for a while, right? Those lights? I, I've ordered a new one like this, finally. The move is all finished. We've moved into the new house. That's what I was waiting for. I've ordered just the light bar. Uh, should be coming in soon, so that'll be fixed and my OCD can be satisfied once again. Remember when it was that light up there on the top left? Remember when it was that one that wasn't working properly? I already fixed that one. That was driving me nuts. If you're gonna have lights on your truck, you better make sure your lights are working. Okay. There's no point in having lights if only half of them are working. You know what else is driving me nuts? You know what else I have to replace soon? Not yet, but uh... one's not lighting up properly. I want to replace all of these. I already have some uh, saved on Amazon that I'm going to pick up once. I think there's one on this side that's not working right either. Right, there you are. And it's right by my driver's step, right? It's right here, so every time I get in and out of the truck, i got to see it. I should, like, switch it to the other side. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll have to look at it then. But, yeah... There's our new friend over there. I'll meet him in the morning, introduce myself. For now, it's time to go to bed. This gate here will open at seven in the morning. So shortly after that, I'll have to wait until my logbook allows me to, but as soon as we're able to, I will roll through that gate. So he'll be unloaded before me. He got here before me already. As soon as I'm able to, I'll roll through there and we'll get this unloaded. And then we'll start thinking of a plan to get home. I think what the unofficial plan was, at least the plan the other day, was to send me to Thief River Falls from here to grab a preloaded trailer, switch this one out. I don't know if that's still the plan yet or not. That hasn't been confirmed to me. But that was sort of the, the unofficial maybe plan. If that's the case, then as soon as I'm unloaded here... I bolt over there, switch trailers, tie that load down, and then head home. Time to go home again. 
looking forward to it. The load here is still all here, every bit of it. It's great. The tarps held firm, that's good. My strategy worked to keep those corners from ripping through my tarps there. The back is looking good as well. Good. Another successful delivery. All we got to do is get it off the trailer now. Thanks for watching today, though. It was another day just like the other days this week. This week was kind of repetitive for me. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. But it was exciting because I found a new cheaper way to get back to Kenora when I'm empty through Rainy River, Ontario and Baudette, Minnesota. And I did the math. I kept track of my, of my mileage. It is pretty much exactly the same distance. Very, very close within the margin of error to go back up through Rainy River. And you save that $21 toll and you don't give your money to the toll man. I gotta end this right here. So please, when you're out there on the road, remember, think of me out there. I'm just one of millions that are trying to get home to their families. So keep your head up when you're on the highway. Keep your eyes on the road. Keep your stick on the ice. Pay attention. And I'll see you tomorrow.